We've received a lot of response to our report last month that showed many returning war veterans are receiving lethal amounts of pain medication from VA hospitals. Tomorrow, a House subcommittee will hold a hearing on this. Jim Axelrod broke the story on this broadcast, and since then, he has learned of case after case of veterans who have died following doctor's orders. In the weeks after our investigation aired, we received photos like this one, the daily dosage of pain pills prescribed to a 30-year-old VA patient in Texas. And this one, from a 54-year-old VA patient in Oklahoma. These were the medications prescribed to Ricky Green, a veteran of the first Gulf War, for his back pain. Among them, three narcotics. His wife Kimberly describes a visit her husband made to his VA doctors in September of 2011. He wanted to be taken off of this large amount of medicines. What did his doctors and health care providers say to him? Basically, that he need, needed to continue to take the medication. And all of them? All of them. When he came home, did he continue to take all the medication? He followed the doctor's orders. The next month, Green died in his sleep, accidentally overdosing on a narcotic and a muscle relaxer prescribed by VA medical centers in Arkansas. He was only 43 years old. We had a future together, and this shouldn't have happened. Tomorrow's hearing will examine VA's practice of prescribing pain medications. Congressman Jeff Miller chairs the House Veterans Affairs Committee. Unfortunately, it has become a routine way uh, of dealing with our veterans uh, is to give them a prescription. They walk out the door with, with their medications, and masking the pain only temporarily takes it away. It's not treating the underlying cause. No, and it's the underlying cause that absolutely has to be treated. According to Veterans Affairs, right now, there are two pain management specialists for every 100,000 VA patients. And with more than half of the newest VA patients, those from Iraq and Afghanistan, seeking treatment for pain, Scott, the system is only going to grow more overloaded. Jim Axelrod in our Washington newsroom tonight. Jim, thank you.